What's up guys? So lately I've been using Visual Studio Code for pretty much all my JavaScript development. It's especially really good with React and I really like it. This is coming from usually I use Vim. Um, so it is quite a big change but with one plugin I use is, and I'm going to go through my plugins and show you why I like it, um, is the Vim plugin. This makes it usable for me basically because now I cannot use an IDE or a text editor that does not have Vim key bindings. That's just the way I program now. So this makes it usable for me. And the things that make it really nice are these two plugins here, Prettier and ESLint. Um, and this is not just Prettier, this is Prettier ESLint, which is different. This, and I'll tell you why in a second. So starting with ESLint, um, this basically just goes through your code and tells you what you're doing wrong. So I have my, uh, I can come over here, my ESLint, you know, it reads this file, my ESLint RC, and this is basically my rules. And then as you know, it just, then as I'm coding, if I code something badly, a little red line pops up. Like, I don't know, let Bob, and like and then a little line will pop up and it be like, ESLint, this is something bad you're doing, and then you can get rid of it. So that's pretty much, but most text editors have that, that's not, that's nice and I like it, but it's not the main reason. The main reason I am using Visual Studio Code is this plugin right here. I absolutely love it. It's called Prettier ESLint. I had a hard time trying to set this up in Vim and other IDEs, so I just said, Visual Studio Code's pretty nice, let's just use that. Because it has this nice plugin that's really sweet. So what, this, what does this do? So prettier, if you don't know what this is, it basically makes your JavaScript look really nice. And that's really important to me actually because I really like when I'm coding my code to look formatted nicely so I can read it faster and then I'm coding faster. Um, and prettier helps me do that. And why, like prettier is easy to set up in a lot of text editor but not in combination with ESLint. Prettier sometimes breaks ESLint um, for example, some of the prettier rules um, may not be, so like it'll, it changes the formatting of your code. So like maybe, see how this is formatted like this? Maybe it reformats it to look like this or something, whatever. And then ESLint doesn't like it, right? Because ESLint has rules too. So what this plugin does is it's, it runs the prettier formatter. It formats your code all nicely and then it runs it through ESLint fix and then it fixes everything so it's compatible with ESLint. And this is really nice when programming. And the only other really setting I use is format on save. So this is a setting that I have for Visual Studio Code. So it runs this, prettier ESLint every time I save a file. It just basically formats it for me. And I really like it. So let me just demo how this works. So I'm coding, let's say I have a variable and I'm creating stuff, so the, and then maybe other, I don't know, but look how ugly this is formatted. Um, this is before I save, so I'm just gonna save the file and notice how it formats it all nicely. Notice how it formats the whole page, like I'm just gonna undo. Notice how state was all like this as well. It makes sure it's not doing that, fold it under, Look how nice that's formatted. I, I just love this plugin so much. So every time I save it, it runs it, fix my stuff. Now I don't have to worry about, like if I'm coding stuff and I forget to tab something over, normally I'd have to like come back and be like, oh crap, I forgot to pull this up, go through here. And it's just a lot of extra work I have to do to format this all myself. If like, if I want to format nicely like this, cause I'm going to now add some more. Um, and I just don't like doing this, right? Let's let's. I forgot to put a comma, right? It'll add the comma in for me. Um, and just, I just really like this plugin. So that's the main reason why I'm using Visual Studio Code now. Um, Visual Studio Code is pretty nice, just in general. I'm using the default color scheme. I think the color scheme looks nice with React, um, and it's been pretty pleasant to code with. Um, it's been. I'm, I'm not missing them too much using this for React, especially when it formats my code and makes it look so nice. And the Vim emulator is good enough. It's not amazing, it's good enough though, and then I can use it. Um, so I, I highly recommend this if you're doing any type of React development. Get the ESLint plugin for sure and pretty ESLint.
these make it so nice to program. That's it for this video, guys. If you have any more questions about my Visual Studio setup, you can always leave a comment below. There's not too much customization I'm doing. I'm pretty much just using the base. And what's nice about Visual Studio Code is they're always improving it. Like, they just had an update, and now I have these cool little icons on the side here, and I have this nice little mini-map thing. I don't know if how much I'll actually use the mini-app, but that's kind of nice. And I, I'm actually pretty sure these settings were default. I just don't know. There's like a billion settings. I can go through here and you can search through some nice settings. I might do that sometime. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.